allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one God, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Wyzetta. Welcome to a special edition of Wyzetta Newsbreak. I'm Matthew Pranzinski. I'm Grant Collins. And I'm Rachel Putzenreiter. Rachel, how was the news this weekend? Good. Over the weekend, Trump signed off on an updated restrictions to the, to the United States from eight countries, including North Korea, Chad, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Syria, Venezuela, and Yemen. The existing 90-day travel ban introduced over the summer expired last night. In a tweet, the president said, making America safe is my number one priority. We will not admit those into our country we cannot safely vet. According to the Fox News, the Supreme Court is set to review the legality of this ban on October 10th. According to CNN, nearly 50,000 people fled the Indonesian island of Bali on Sunday. Mount Agung has been showing signs of increasing magma and sulfuric smoke and has a potential to erupt. erupt. Islanders are currently residing in a temporary shelter, village halls, or staying with family members. Popular tourist areas and flights in Bali remain unaffected, but an eruption would halt all flights and strand all travelers. 25-year-old Emmanuel Sampson of Antioch, Tennessee, fatally shot a woman walking to her car after a church service yesterday morning, according to NBC News. Sampson then proceeded to enter the Burnett Chapel Church of Christ with two pistols and opened fire. Sampson injured seven before church usher Caleb Engel confronted the gunman. During the struggle, Sampson shot himself. Sampson was held in custody without bond last night on charges with first, of first-degree murder and added charges expected. And now back to the anchors. PSET registration for the October 11th test is open now. Stop by the CCC and B202 for a free study guide. Registration ends September 29th. Skills USA season starts this Thursday, September 28th. Meet at 325 and D216. See Mr. Swenson in D216 with questions. Are you passionate about human rights? Join Amnesty International, a club that, a club that works for socioeconomic justice Thursdays after school in C123. Yearbook prices will increase from $75 to $85 on September 30th. To order, go online to the Wyzetta yearbook homepage. Drew, heard why had a lot of sports this weekend. Yes, we did, Matthew. Let's, let's, I'll tell you all about it. Football had a tough, a tough loss on Friday night against Eden Prairie with a final score of 41 to 7. Girls Cross Country placed second in the Roy Grock Invitational on Saturday afternoon, falling short 25 points behind Great Oak. Boys Cross Country took sixth in the Malacca Mega Meet on Saturday, placing behind four AA teams and Hopkins. Boys Soccer defeated the Hornets this weekend. Senior goalie Danny, Danny Welshens had seven saves and ended the game with a shutout, and sophomore Patrick Wea and senior Janik Sassengard each put a goal in the back of the net, making the final score 2-0. to zero. Shout out to Weatherman Walter with the assist. Girls Soccer tied Edina on Saturday 1-1. One one. Senior Alexis Hayden scored the only goal for the team in the first half of the game. Girls Tennis will play this afternoon against Hopkins Royals on their home court at 4. Good luck to all the Trojan Sports competing tonight, and now back to the anchors. The November driver education class is open for registration. Classes tend, tend to fill quickly, so don't wait until the last minute to register. A detailed flyer is available in the floor offices. Chinese club will meet this Tuesday in room A348. Come learn, sing, and eat. If you want to show your leadership abilities, apply to be an officer. Interested in solving crime scenes, identifying minerals, or building hovercrafts? If so, check out the Science Olympiad team. The first informational meeting will be held in A341 on September 26th after school. And now let's hear it from Weatherman Walter with the weather. Good morning, Wazetta, and happy Monday. It was a real scorcher out there last week, but looking forward into the next week, might be after breaking out the jackets. As we're getting to school today, we're looking at temperatures in the low 60s, and storms are expected to stick around into the evening and eventually subside early tomorrow morning. As we're getting out tomorrow morning, we'll see a similar trend in weather with temperatures in the high 50s and low 60s. Hopefully, as we're waking up tomorrow, we won't need to get out of raincoats quite yet, though. That's all I've got for weather today. Now let's see what's going on in A&E News. Hello, Wyzetta. I'm Andy Nelson, and welcome back to A&E. 
In box office news, Kingsman, The Golden Circle, reached number one this weekend with a $39 million opening, which beat out its predecessor by $3 million. The film also brought in $61.2 million from international sales. Despite receiving lackluster reviews, it seems as though Kingsman is still selling tickets. In other box office news, it, ca it came in second for the weekend with $30 million and the Lego Ninjago movie in third place with $21.2 million. That's all for a and &E. I'm Andy Nelson. Now let's go to birthdays. On behalf of us at a technical crew, Rachel Frutzenreiter, Drew Smith, I'm Andy Nelson. I'm Grant Collins. And I'm Matthew Pranzinski. Let's have a great homecoming week, Wyzetta. <laughs>